This is One on One. You are looking at the uh, beautiful, smiling, talented face mm -hmm. of uh, Miss Faith Ringold, artist, author, arts educator, and activist. How you doing? I'm kind of fine. Yeah? <laughs> a little bit fine. I think you're yes, fine. Yes, I'm, I'm very happy about a lot of things, but a few things that are not quite right, but that's okay. Well, we're good to have, it's great to have you here. But it's the, great being here. Yeah, at the New it's Jersey wonderful. Performing Arts Center. Actually, oh, yes. uh, one of the things we want to do right away is to show uh, something, a very important piece of art that you're a part of. You're mm -hmm. part of the Newark 350 celebration, are you not? Absolutely. Because? I did the print for it. You did the print for it. Yes. And the print... You mean you didn't know that? I did know that. I'm trying to set you up for this, okay? Oh. And the print, um, uh, a day in Newark's 350th year celebration. We're going to actually put up the print and uh, talk about the print. It is a silkscreen print, right? It, um... Yes, I guess it's a silkscreen print, yes. It is, um... The significance my, of it. my my what my feelings about Newark, New Jersey, and they go way back to when I was a kid and used to come here because my uncle lived in New Jersey and we used to walk over the George Washington Bridge from Harlem. Were you raised in Harlem? Yes, and we would come over here to his house, and so I have long feelings and memories of Newark. And so when I was faced with the idea of creating a print for the celebration of 350, I didn't know it was 350 years. That, that's a lot. I didn't know Newark was that old. I wanted to bring into it you know, my feelings about Newark that I could share with, you know, other people. Mm. So I, I, I really want to say thanks to all the people at NJ Pack for asking me. If I may ask you, you were coming from Harlem to Newark. Describe the Newark that you remember back in the day. It was very small, of course, with little houses, uh, what, two-story houses, and um, everybody very, very sweet and very homey, and, uh, you know, with their little gardens and everything. It was, it was just a really, coming from New York City, it was very different and very, very welcoming. We loved it. I loved coming. And I would stay with my uncle and his wife. And uh, that was fun. So I have these really fond memories. And I just went back over them to um, put together my idea for what I thought would appeal to to many people mm. who know Newark, uh, maybe not exactly as I know it, but I couldn't figure how could they know it too much differently. It hasn't changed that much, mm. although it has changed a lot. I'm going to ask you this. Big now and, wow, grandiose more. Your love of art, when did it start? As a child. I cannot remember ever being without the joy of making art. I, when I was a child, I had asthma, so I didn't go to kindergarten, pre-kindergarten. Uh, very little first grade. I really started school in second grade. Mm. And my mother used to go to school and get my homework and get my work, get my books, get my everything. And I was more or less homeschooled until about the second grade except that I had my art. And um, my father bought me my easel, my first easel. 
my father brought me. And I was always able to create art. Connect your art with your activism. In order to be an artist, it was absolutely imperative that I get involved in activism, both as a woman and as a black person, because both fields are pretty much closed to both people. And so I had to get out there and find a way to get myself in there and, um, and do the work too. And so I did. And so I did, I did. I did the work, I did the activism. I did it all. Thank God I did. How far have we come? And have we come even close to far enough? Well, I, you know, I think I'll let you answer that. I don't know. I, I'm asking, I think, I, you, you know things I don't know. Well, I know things you don't, I know things you don't know, but there's a lot to know. And, uh, you know, I don't want to be a bragger. <laughs> you're not a bragger, you're just telling me, I'm just asking you, mm -hmm. in the time we have left, in terms of race. Oh, as far as race is concerned. That's what I mean. Well, I see. I should have made that clear, I apologize. No, you didn't. Um, I think things are improving somewhat, but we have a long way to go, both as a woman and as a black person in the art world, visual art, mm. not the music, the dance, the theater, none of that. They're coming along more too, but they've always been ahead of the visual arts. Um, yeah, I think we'd, we're improving, but we've got a long way to go. Faith Ringold, artist, author, arts educator and activist. Thank you for joining us on public television. We appreciate it. Okay. Very Wish good. you the best. Thank you. From NJ Pack, I'm Steve Arabato. The preceding program has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation and the New Jersey Performing Arts Center in association with NJTV and WNET. Funding for this edition of One on One with Steve Adubato at NJ Pack has been provided by Investors Bank, Berkeley College, the Northward Center, Century 21 Construction, Josh S. Weston, the Fidelco Group, and by the Community Food Bank of New Jersey. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine, serving the metropolitan New York, New Jersey area.